Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationeers. And today we're going to have a bit of a look at the new trade system. Ah, uh, well, why are we doing that? Well, you know, some people like it. So, uh, it looks really cool. Um, but it seems to be a really fancy way of doing something that I'll just use to get some seeds and then pull to pieces and never use again. So, um, it does look awesome though, and I'll probably never get to see it. But, um, uh, as I don't like it, it's probably time to, um, find a way to not have to do it. Uh, so we'll be getting out our best automation stuff and trying to find a way to get this thing to find traders and, um, and land it all because it's a uh, it's a pretty painful process to get them into land um, but we'll we'll see what we can do uh, if we'll check out the automation we'll check out all the bits and pieces on it and see what it ends up like but uh, these are your bits of basic bits and pieces here we've got the dishes we've got the landing pad we've got the uh, what are they? gas loading gas storage water vending machine we still need our landing platform and plugging it in um, We've got little dishes here which move quickly and not very powerful, but they can contact most of the stuff. And if we need more power to get to the ones that are further away, we've got well, things like this. So, um, but uh, let's uh, not. Oh, it's gone. There's no one there now. Ah, awesome. That's uh, really handy. Great demonstration. It's a small satellite dish, large and big one. I don't know how many of them you can have hooked up. Uh, it's our one landing pad controller. Um, oh, we found something. Uh, now, I've seen people there put previews on how cool it looks where the ships are landing, and they don't show you this little bit here, how you get it to actually find stuff. Um, basically, you've just got to wait for this thing to fill up. It's taken a long time, uh, so it means it's not pointing at it. You don't know which way you've got to go to point it at it. And is that going up faster or slower? Um, don't know. Go back the other way. Of course, nothing happens while the dish is moving. Wait for it to stop. Uh, no, I think that's slower. So back the other way again. And this is sort of the tedium you've got to go through to get to it. And if you wait long enough, it'll get to the fully thing fully when we're ready oh, hang on I need to do something more interesting oh look at that paint dry isn't that awesome we're done now we can it tells us we're now pointing 70 degrees away from we're in the wrong direction by 70 degrees which way I don't know. As soon as I turn that dish, I have to start it again. So, um, yeah, that's my demonstration of trade. Uh, right, let's go and look at some automation. I'm bored of that already. If we look at all of them, uh, we've got the horizontal angle, interrogation process, progress, minimum what's the contact, uh, power, prefab, uh, the size, which is the size of the ship, 3x3, three three, the size of the landing pad that is required. Um, what's the reaching, or what's reaching contact? 7. So I guess that means we probably can't, can't contact it. Uh, needs 27, we have 7. Okay. Uh, so do we know what it requires? Uh, seven. Signal strength 70. Oh, yeah, minimum what's the contact? Right, so we know where we can trigger it. So when it contacts, uh, I guess enough what's to contact, um, we can contact it. Um, there's nothing there to contact it. Is the contacting it done with this one? No. Um, how do we contact stuff would probably be a good question on that one. Uh, right, activate. Has an activate. Does activate do anything? Uh, we don't know. Uh, well, I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? 
Um, right now, so how do we contact? We're 70 degrees away, which means I should have to move it 70 degrees in one direction or the other. That's almost facing the opposite direction. Okay. No way with that. It, it, it'd be stupid. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's where it was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back that way. And oh, that's coming up pretty quick now. Oh, yeah, now it goes up quickly. 27 from contact. Um, right, so does it know it's 27 from contact? Signal strength 27. Is that the 27? Signal strength. Um, okay. Uh, no, 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 put, put that away. Wrong way. 18. So the signal strength 18 now. It is. Right. So signal strength is your degrees from contact. But you don't know that until you've resolved it. Right. So signal strength goes to 0. Until goes to minus one until you've resolved it. Uh, all right. Right. So that's pretty much bang on. For seven minutes, so now I can contact it. And we've got 200 watt pointing straight at it, so that's okay. I can interrogate that, but I don't know how to do it from here. Uh, so we've contacted them. Did I do that via an activate? I don't know. But anyway, let's, uh, let's, let's have a go. So now we can pull it in and... Uh, yep, land. And there it comes. I need to put up some lights because it's dark. Okay, don't hurry. Well, that pretty much looks like the old ship still, the old trade ship. All oh, the doors open. And trader turns up. This, this oh, doors are open. I want to steal the ship. I can't get in there. Oh! I still think this was made for player use. Maybe it was an original dream to have it done sometime. Don't know if it's still on the cards or whether it's been abandoned, but anyway, we'll find out eventually some point down the track. Uh, now you still have a gun. You still don't trust me. I don't think I earned that mistrust last time. Um, we. Uh, now, you sell minerals um, available, oxides. Is that what you want to buy or I want to buy? I think you're selling. Well, that's what you want about why. I sell, you buy. Okay, fine. You don't want a hell of a lot of them. You're not going to make a lot of money selling this sort of stuff because they don't want that many of them. Uh, go on to the days we just sell them everything until they, they just run out of money. Uh, and they don't have a lot to sell. Uh, anyway, don't want any of that crap. Uh, so you can go away. Right. And, oh, that was awesome. Ha <laughs> ha. You shouldn't hit hyperspace in a planetary atmosphere. It's, it's, uh, it'll cause problems. Everyone knows that. Um, and you're still going to be there. How about if I 
to spin you around. Can I find someone else? There's only one there. One, is that all I get? Well, you suck. Right, so now, how are we going to contact this? If we put the dish straight to 45 vertical and just spin the thing around until it finds someone, uh, although it can't, it can't, um, it won't know straight away, so it's got to have to point in a direction and then wait. If it resolves within, uh, I don't know, five seconds, uh, it's close. If it takes more than five seconds, it should just uh, move and try again because it's not, it's not close. Uh, so I can write vertical and horizontal. So if the signal strength is minus one, after five seconds, it's not found anything. So move. Um, that might be the way to do it. Uh, okay. Okay, another dish has been connected. Um, although it still only says I have three dishes connected. Uh, if we turn it off and on again. No. Okay, so maybe I can't have multiples of those hooked up. Uh, well, how about if I just cut off the big one? Uh, so if I kick you off. Um, <laughs> medium, small. Okay. So that's you. Oh, and look at that. They are both operating independently. Interesting. Um, so, is there a way to label them? Um, dish two. Can I see them? Small satellite dish. Small satellite dish two. Medium. Oh, look at that. Um, Okay, right, so here's what I've got. This should just allow the dish to spin around and seek a signal. So we've got dish, dish 1, A list to D0. We have based a couple of variables here, which are the steps by how much we're going to move by. I've just sort of set these ones in here at 15 degrees and 30 degrees, vertical and horizontal. Um, we'll probably want to change them later on. We'll use them for seeking, but for the moment, uh, we are just going to do it as we see. So we're going to set the vertical to 45 degrees. Um, so I just take that down here to sit with the other one. Uh, so what we want to do is load what the current horizontal angle is, add the step to it, save it back again, let it move. Uh, so now we have to uh, sleep for however long. Um, 10 seconds, yeah, and go back there. So we say, uh, export, you should be moving. Now we have signal strength, the size x, what's it? So if they, they stay at minus one, it hasn't found anything, so it should move on. If it does find something, it should stop um, and keep moving. Right, so it keeps finding stuff. Awesome. So it looks like 10 seconds is plenty of time to wait. You didn't find anything that time, so you keep moving. Right, so while we're in our seek mode, uh, we shall say from here, we shall load into R0, R0, may as well use R0 again, 
from the uh, uh, dish one. The uh, doesn't really matter which one we use. Uh, signal strength, and we shall say if we're in here, uh, if we say a branch uh, equal. Uh, so if r zero equals minus one, uh, we go back to start and keep looking. Cool. If it does equal, if it's not equal to minus one, we go back on to our uh, tracking one. Right. So if we export you and say if you find something, you. Did not find something, you keep looking. And yep, yeah, keep looking. You found something, you've stopped. Right. So that's good. We are forty five degrees from where we want to be. Now, once we've found something, we have a signal ID. Uh, I don't know if that tells us what sort of trader it is. Um, so we have signal ID 127808. If I check my list, I have not had that one before. But they just seem to be going up. They're all alloys. Okay, I don't know if they're unique or just random, so um, I guess we'll have to find that out one day. Uh, right, so now we're going to have to try and track this thing, and each time that that gets lower, uh, we know we're doing the right thing. So, we'll have to use and to our next one, our next routine, which will be uh, tracking. Uh, right, so we're into the next stage of it all. How the hell are we going to do that? Right, now we have, we're tracking on this one, I've changed a bit here. Our steps are just going to be one or minus one. The steps, steps will just tell us whether it's, it's, it's circling in a forwards or backwards direction there. So these will just be one or minus one now. So we'll forget angles. We'll just do that. Um, now, so we have our uh, horizontal vertical steps, our old strength, and we'll get some new angles, new horizontal, new vertical, just because it's all getting a bit confusing for me. So we ha we will set our step to one, one for both of them. So they're both going in a forward direction. Once again, as before, we still have our seek command. It will seek, it will sleep for 10 seconds, and keep doing that uh, on 45 degrees at a time. Oh, sorry, 40 degrees. It'll add 30, skip 30 degrees each time. And once it finds something, it goes into our horizontal tracking one. So what this one does here, it's got the old signal strength in H2. First thing it does is put that in the old, old strength. So it loads the horizontal angle. Now it's got to calculate a new angle. So the step it takes will be based on the old strength. We're just using the strength divided by two. So if we've got now, it sort of says it's a 45 degrees from it there. So it'll say 22 and a half degrees will be its next move. And we've got to know whether we're forwards or backwards. So we're just multiplying by the step, which will be minus one or plus one. So we're just going forwards or backwards. There it is. And then we add that number to the, 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 the current horizontal angle that we've just put in and write that new one down there. So we have got the old number, we've added on half of the signal strength as our step variable and made sure we've got it in the right direction. And then just written it back there and we just, uh, uh, then we go into our wait routine. Um, so all that is doing is loading the signal strength and if the signal strength is minus one, it hasn't resolved it yet, so just wait a bit longer. Uh, right, so that goes in another little loop there. 
uh, when it has resolved the signal strength, it will say, um, is the new signal strength less than the old signal strength, which means we've had successful. Um, so if it's, if it's less than, uh, it means we've moved in the right direction. Go back and track again. Uh, if, or it means we've moved in the right direction. Go down to here. We'll do some vertical tracking now. Our horizontal track was successful. Keep going. Um, if it wasn't right, we're going to reverse our step and then jump back to our horizontal one. Now we've got a new signal strength here, so it should then move back in the opposite direction because um, we've got a new a new signal strength. So it'll move back. If it's got further, it'll move back the other direction a little bit further. Um, so then it should give us a reduced one there. Uh, that's confusing, but it, 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 it might work. Right, now our vertical angle, we might uh, just take a quarter of that. Um, right, export you. Okay, you have resolved. You take a horizontal change. In resolve, it was not an improvement in our signal strength. That was not an improvement. 14, 10, 10 to 5, 10, 9, 7, 7, 5, 5, 4, 3, trying 2, 1, Nice. So that is working. That is tracking it down quite nicely. Uh, so I'll just have to put one, a break in that now to sort of say, well, when you got it down that close, uh, you're probably doing all right. Right, so I'll just put one here on the vertical one there to sort of say, uh, if it is uh, branch less than, so we'll say if the signal strength is less than uh, one, uh, just jump to the end. Um, export, probably do a scan again because that's what it's still to do. Resolve that one. Wait for it to resolve again. It didn't like that, so it has moved back the other way. Should go into a vertical movement now. And signal strength is 28. You shouldn't have stopped. It's less than one. End. What? Oh, because it's a oh, yeah, idiot. <laughs> right. Um, put it there. Right. Now. It should wait. Just found that one, it moves. It won't like that one, it should move back. Uh, yep. That should resolve a bit quicker. Vertical. Yep, horizontal. Vertical. That stopped. The signal strength is less than one. So I should now be able to 
interrogate you. Interrogation progress. So I, I've got interrogation progress. Um, I can't activate that from the dish and horizontal angles and um, and activate whatever activate does. Uh, can I do that? Save uh, dish one. Activate one. Meh. I don't know. Will that work. It's already contacted. Uh, okay. Well, we've got 34 seconds left. Is that it? Oh, that ship's different. Oh, that is cool. Haha. <laughs> um, nice. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, wow, I've not seen the front of them open up before. That is pretty freaking cool. Um, uh, I don't think the collisions are there for the open. Uh, oh no, we can. Close. I can't steal it. Oh well. Um, that is awesome. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Yeah, love it. Um, wrong button. Now you are buying gases, of course. How in tanks? Water, emergency water. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, that's uh, special water. It's emergency water. That's not for emergencies. Only that one. Um, or we can sell them ice and pumpkin pies. Who doesn't? Only wants one. One pumpkin pie, of course. Uh, we can sell a crap ton of ice to them. Um, right. Dirty volatiles, um, but we can get gases there. Not a huge amount. Anyway, we can go away. <laughs> that is an awesome animation for opening that ship. Whoosh! Here we go. <laughs> um, right, so you are gone. So. I should be able to set you back to scanning again. See if you can find somebody else. There you are. You are. That's all right. Oh, found someone. getting there. Close enough. Oh, it has interrogated it for us. Has contacted. Oh, awesome. So, uh, whoa, yeah, so, um, so that's ready to land. Oh, yeah. Nice. Um, 
right now I think I can press the land on that thing there so I should be able to call it in automatically uh, right yeah 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 well, I'll, I'll, I'll say say hello no no that's that's my thing I'll, I'll try and look important too hmm what do I want to buy uh, right so you selling alloys and well that, that kind of makes sense you're buying ores and selling uh, yeah that's kind of very very logical uh, but, um, whoosh. <laughs> it's not as cool as the rocket but it's pretty close um, now you're just going to hang around there bugger off or are you going to stay contacted um, do we know that you're contacted so interrogated progress is still one so it knows that you've been contacted so I can then go along and contact another one Oh yeah. Okay, so you've lost that now. You found someone else. Oh ha 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 Oh no way. Oh, you've got another one, a bigger one. <laughs> uh well you could actually do that. I oh, just lost it. So interrogation progress is there at one. Let's found a signal ID. The interrogation progress is one. We don't need to stop and contact it. Okay, so that's something else we can do. So if it finds something else, it should go to minus one on the interrogation progress. Oh, hang on, that that, that stays contacted. So signal strength stays at minus one. So I could just set that back to the start again after it's after it's uh, interrogated it, and then it'll just go find something else. Ooh. Yeah, see so your interrogation progress is minus one, you fool, you already one, you already know. Talk to him. Okay, right, so we have a plan. in as well <laughs> okay so if you send the activate again it makes them land right okay so uh yeah um you're the same one aren't you yeah uh, um go away right so um I can say right so we want to load signal strength I will want to load the uh, interrogation progress 
uh, so load into uh, oh, one we're not using from dish one and rogation progress. Aha! Okay, uh, so we see branch equal to if R1 equals 1, we don't want to talk to it. Go back to seeking. Right. Oh, okay, we got two of them there. Nice. Um, so, reset you, switch you on. Now, that should be interrogation progress is zero. I should know that. It's locked onto one of them. He's searching. Okay. That one is difficult to contact. But because we've got it such accurately contacted, or so, so accurately tracked, it's finding it. Of course, I don't have a landing pad to land that one on, so I had better not, um, better not call that one down. Uh, right. Now, because this is having difficulty, instead of interrogating from this one, I could just hook up the bigger one and pass off the angle to that one and let that one interrogate it. That might be a better way of doing it. So once that's interrogated, interrogation progress should stay at one. Even if we point somewhere else. Oop. So you're done. Right, so now I could call you in. A 555 lander. So that'll go boom. Uh, I might need a bigger landing pad. But now, if I uh, pull you out, you should now carry on scanning and find the other one. No, oh, you've lost it. So Green Futures is now gone. Um, okay, so do I need a... Do I need to point something at it? Until it's been, um, until I put something in there to say I don't want to talk to it. Um, oh, shit, or I've just got to have it wait until you actually tell it to move on to the next one. Is finding you a lot quicker. You must be closer. Gotcha. Uh, Why? You interrogated that one, but you didn't interrogate the last one. I don't understand. Pass it on to you. Interrogation progress is done. You've been contacted. You're going on to look for someone else. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Uh, oop. Uh, okay, now I have changed the seeking code. It was just setting at 45 and spinning around. It was not finding much. Um, so I have set it to now scan vertically as well. So what it does, it just goes around horizontally. Um, if, uh, if, if it's, uh, once it gets to 360 degrees, um, 
it'll just uh, it knows that so it just subtracts the 360 degrees from the angle and increases the uh, vertical angle by uh, 15 degrees if the vertical angle goes beyond 90 degrees it just resets back to zero uh, so it'll do that scan around there 15 degrees I don't know if that's going to be too much um, I could set it down to five degrees but then it would just take three times as long to scan the sky um, uh, same with your horizontal angles there. It's waiting 10 seconds between each one there So you can set that down to less than 30 degrees less than 15 degrees, but it may miss some things Otherwise or it may find them. It's uh, you, You're gonna have to trade off between how long it takes to actually scan the sky and and um, How long it takes to actually find stuff uh, So um, That's kind of working it's not very fast, but it does what it's got to do, and it does actually did actually contact it. I'm pretty impressed with that. So it contacts it. You can call it down if you activate it again. Um, so you could just well, if you had three landing pads, you could just pull three traders down to three landing pads. Uh, well, well, then again, I suppose this just contacts them. So once you've actually got it, you've got to look at um, what size landing pad it needs and what sort of runway it needs and then direct it into the appropriate landing pad. Okay, it looks like once they've been interrogated by the dish, uh, it remembers them. Because uh, I've contacted two of them there and now I'm turning it away from them in another direction and it's keeping them there. Now the first dish, which didn't interrogate them, has lost contact with them. But the large dish has still got them there. Now it's pointing the right direction, it's found them. But you shouldn't be stopping to contact them. You are not, you're going to keep going, that's a good thing. But, uh, oh, we found another one. Nine by nine. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> Oh, it's only got 20 seconds left. 20 long runway. That's freaking ridiculous. How big are these airports going to be? They're going to be bigger than my entire base. If you've got to build a 9x9 hangar to put these things in, because they need an oxygen jaded hangar, how the hell are you going to do that? You've got to, especially on Venus where there's no oxygen, you've got to build something like that to find a, uh, a hangar to, 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 you've got to fill it with oxygen so as you can I don't know, probably buy the plants to actually get the oxygen to fill the hangar <laughs> wow um, okay wherever that was it was gone it ran out of time but maybe that little thing is not enough to pick up the really big planes if they're too far away uh, so maybe I'll have to search with that thing uh, can I contact you? Yes, we can. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, 10 minutes. Oh, piss off. Oh, you're kidding me. That is... Oh, shit. Ah, okay. Ten minutes. Well, I guess I could go and build half a base while I'm waiting. Ten minutes. minutes great Scott oh go and watch the grass grow I think ah painful uh, I still say creative mode is the best way to do trade um oh, yeah I've had enough of this uh, 
I'll try again tomorrow. I can go to bed. Okay, I have rebuilt the landing pad. I still haven't put any lights out here though, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, now, I have say, put in a bigger landing pad. Uh, so it's now 5x5, five five, and I have put in a runway. So I now have a long runway. Uh, little, so I'll come in there. I'll ping here. They'll stop at the taxi spot before heading into the pad. I believe that's the way it works anyway. Um, so we'll find out. But my runway is 15 slabs long. Um, we've got a clear space at the end there, so I don't need any approach markers or anything. So I think that's all I need. I could be wrong. We might get an explosion. You can, you can contact land. You are coming in on the runway. Nice. You're a bigger one. I haven't seen this one before. And I think it stops at the taxi point until I tell it to proceed. Oh, you're not using the runway. Whoa! Oh, shit. <laughs> um, dude! Holy shit, that's wicked. It's got these big lips on the edge of the runway and don't like me. They're, they're a tripping hazard. Uh, health and safety. Like some people have never heard of it. Now I believe I just push that button to get it to come in. There we go. Oh, it's got one of those ones. There's no one in it. Oh, yes we are. Hello. Um, sorry. Be polite. Hello. Oh, shit, I forgot my clipboard. Can't do business without a clipboard. Hello. Um, now you have, oh, you have some bigger, more alloys. And of course you just want to buy ores and fuel. A whole nine. So I'm not, not going to get rich off you. All uh, right. Um, that. Do. Oh, you're still going to wait to the part. Okay. Uh, maybe the taxi spot is not that good of an idea. <laughs> so we've been there. How do we contact you? If our small dish is not finding you, um, oh, I'm going to have to put up a second one, like scan with a bigger dish. That's going to be very, very slow. Uh, well, instead of sort of scanning and then passing them off to the big, oh, I do need a way to pass them off because if that one can't find something and can't contact it, I want to be able to do it. Maybe I've got to set up a similar sort of thing again, but scan with the bigger dish and then pass it on to that one if required. Um, I'm going to need a bigger nine by nine. Damn. Uh, a 20 long runway. Uh, right. I have constructed a, well, a freaking football field here. It is a 9 by 9 landing pad with a 20 point runway on it. Ah, uh, I forgot to put up my large satellite dish. Shit. Okay. Okay, I have just put the dish up and it looks like we've already contacted that one there. Um, so sure, 15 by 7 by 7, we can handle that one. Let's get you to land. Um, let's change it to daytime, shall we? There we go. Daytime. Now, let's call you in. Um, land. And let's hope you don't crash into my dish. Oh, 
Oh, what? What are you? What? Where are you going? You insane? Or do I have to put that threshold at the other end of the runway? Whoops. <laughs> Oh, where's a middle finger for you, you dimwit? Um, all right, be polite. Yes, hello. Smack with this thing here now, can I? Yes. Mm -hmm, yes. Don't try and look important to me. I see what you did. Uh, wow, you have a shitload of stuff available now. Are you wanting to... No, uh, you still don't want to buy a lot. But you actually have a lot to sell now. Um... You're still an idiot. Go away. Okay, so I think I've built my runway wrong. Is that meant to be the other end? <laughs> Whoops. Get it right this time. That's looking better. Now if he just goes right to the end, taxis right to the end and then tries to take off, I'll oh, know I need one of both ends. off all right you're not using the runway you are just coming in there okay a little bit later I have added some lights in red means it's seeking yellow means it's uh, tracking if you go green once it finds it uh, I might change that so as it just um, it just tracks it until it has enough power to contact it. Because so I don't think the power to contact it actually goes down the closer you get. Uh, what's reaching con? Well, what, what's reaching contact? Once that's high enough, that should be enough. So a minimum watts the contact is 27. Now, what's reaching contact is uh, 4,000. 5,000, that should be enough. Uh, so I might change that to stop tracking once it has enough power to contact them. Or well, you're tracking as well, probably the same one. Who's going to win? been contacted right we had a power outage okay so I need to get more power into this I might just switch you off the small one is still seeking small small dish oh because it's it's caught it ah Okay, it doesn't have anything there to abort the uh, the seek process once it's already been found. Right, so I'll need to adjust that. Because now it's going to call it in. It tries to interrogate it after it's already been found. Okay, so a couple of things there I've got to change still. appears to be working. What the? No! No! 
No! You're an idiot. You're not coming in at the right spot at all. Okay, so that was wrong. Shoot, shoot, go away. No, 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 that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> nope. Freaking Tokyo Drift. Uh, get out. So that's even wronger. Right? That's definitely not right. That should not be there. Okay, so when we are checking our signal strength, instead of waiting for our signal strength to just be less than one, we're just going to slow in our minimum watts to contact and what's reaching the contact. If the minimum watts to contract contact is less than the watts reaching the contact, means there's enough power getting to it, just stop trying to track it. Just uh, jump back straight into the contact. Uh, so that should save a bit of time to get it down really close if it doesn't need to be really close. Um, now it's just doing it on the vertical track. I could put it on the horizontal track as well, but it's just going to move straight from one to the other, so it probably doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we'll see if it works first. So this thing actually seems to be turning up more contacts than that one up there does. <laughs> so I don't know which one's best to go. Although this one up here still hasn't passed off anything to the bigger dish. So maybe being able to pass off things is probably not required. Uh, if you just have these two searching, they seem to be finding pretty much everything. And you're now scanning again. Nice. Yeah, I found that the, the, the large padded corners from the walls are a nice little step up from the edge of your landing pad. So you know no more stub toes on there. Uh, so let it run. And we found six items off the dish. And I have found seven items off the small dish. So they're both doing about the same. Uh, but this dish here has not passed, this dish here hasn't moved. So it means this one has not passed a single signal, signal off to that one to try and get it resolved. Um, so I'd say that one actually can't find uh, any signals that is more than it's capable of resolving. So uh, having it being able to pass off to another dish is a waste of time. So I think I'm going to have to have a separate controller for that dish and that dish and probably the big one as well. Because uh, I've got the, uh, the, nine, got the 9 by 9 signal coming in off that one. Well, it's gone now. Uh, so is that the tier 3 trader? Or do I need, do I have to have, because the tier 3 trader is probably just at, right at the limit of that one there. Um, so the tier 2 traders seem to be requiring about 200 watts. The tier 1 traders are looking about, they use about 20 watts. So that one can do it. That one can do up to 200 watts. Uh, looks like the biggest traders I've found have required about 7,000 watts, which was what that one was. But I can do that with that dish. Now, uh, is there another level of trader above that which requires this thing? Um, I don't know. But uh, I guess it looks like these two are both uh, achieving similar similar um, numbers of hits. So I'll probably set that up so it, uh, one of these chips just controls one dish, a small dish or a big dish. And I'll probably set one up for the bigger dish as well um, and just see what it does. And I think I'll change that all back to heavy cable because uh, this is not going to do it. We got another one that is on the medium dish. It's a 6x6. Six six. Uh, I think I can land them on here. It's an off-centered uh, size, but uh, it should do. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, it's a 7000 watt contact. 
we're good to get it. Nice! We'll get to see a new ship. Awesome! I just gotta wait for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have a 6x6 six six contacted. So, let's get you to land. And we'll have a look at you. Oh yes, you're different. You're still going to use the runway. Sure, why not? You're a VTOL. You don't have wheels. Why are you using a runway? Do, 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 do. Got big crates in the back. Ooh, passenger seat. Uh, passenger seat. Oh, that's got storage to see for player use. Is it? Is it going to be player use? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Ah, oh, once again we can't get in there. That is very cool though. Um, right, uh, yes, hello. Um, hello. Ready your tablets. Ah, uh, oh, you're just selling crap. Probably buying in guys. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Well, you do want to buy a hell of a lot. Are they single ingots or stacks? Hmm. Like 300 of them at 14 a pop. You can't afford it. Ah, uh, right. Now I'll depart you. God, just tilt those side thrusters and zoom away. Oh, you do. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Um, right, so we're back to searching. Uh, we'll give you uh, 70 seconds. So the large dish, every 70 seconds it'll take a scan and it has to go around every 30 degrees. So that's 12 by 70 seconds, it'll take about 15 minutes to do a lap and it has to do that every 15 degrees um, so that will be another six times so it'll scan the sky um, what's that, every one and a half hours and traders stay about half an hour awesome <laughs> <laughs> uh, medium dishes win it again. Oh, straight into interrogation. Nice. That seems to be working its thing. Ah, uh, big dishes doing its big dish thing very slowly. Other dishes are doing their other dish things reasonably slowly too, um, but uh, yes, big dish has got one, the medium dish has got five, the small dish has got two, so um, yeah, if you're only going to have one dish, put up a medium dish, um, once again it is seven and a half thousand watts, so you will want to put on heavy cable if you want to run it at full power, because uh, some of the signals coming in do require seven and a half thousand watts, so um, yeah, 
Uh, heavy power cables, large transformers on those ones. Uh, but anyway, that's that's working. They're finding signals. They are locating them. They are contacting them for us. And once they've been contacted, they seem to stay on the screen. Even if the dish points into a different direction, they will stay there. So you just matter of coming back every now and then and seeing what has arrived. And you can sort of see that, um, yeah, I don't want to talk to any of them because I've just got a couple of them there, which are both the same. And they're going to hang around for a long time before they bugger off and I get someone useful. I don't know how to uh, find a specific trader still. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, I've heard it is. I'll have to look into that a bit more, but uh, not today. I think I've spent enough time on this already today, so till next time, happy building. See ya. You're gonna crash in the storm? Let's just pretend that noise was a sonic boom and not an explosion. <laughs>